Do you have somebody who's reserving your heart? You know, that's not kosher. You can't do that, right? Somebody is leading you on, breadcrumbing you, giving you just enough so that they keep a position of having you be available. You know, listen, I'm in New York City. You might even hear a siren during the time I'm sharing this, but I went to a restaurant recently, little hole in the wall that my foreign colleague who in the United States, out of all the restaurants in New York, this is the one she wanted to go to. And when I made a reservation, I had to guarantee, guarantee that I'd be there with a credit card. And by the way, 10 minutes late, they were gonna charge me $30. They made me guarantee that I would show up for a reservation in a little tiny restaurant, but we don't do this with people. We let them reserve our time, reserve our heart in the hopes, the hopes that maybe they'll want us. And the more time they have with us, maybe they'll see how wonderful we are, right? But they don't. And they just put you on hold and put you on hold. But you never thought of charging them. I mean, really, if this little restaurant charged me, what are you worth a day? What is the price of 24 hours of your life worth? Have you thought of it? Do you have a price? Have you thought of giving it to them if they're going to hold you? Because if they're going to reserve you, you could charge too. I mean, it's just a thought. But nobody gets to reserve you. Your heart is very precious. And your time here, that is a limited commodity. That's for sure. So next time somebody tries to reserve your heart, remember the goal that this little restaurant had, well, I have to admit it was very good, but a little tiny restaurant had the nerve to do it, you can too. At least put your foot down. Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net. Don't let anybody reserve your heart. Bye-bye.